Hello, this is Jason Ledbetter with the Sunfrog Academy, and in this video, you're going to learn about our brand new feature that we just released, the new Sunfrog Pixel Manager. Now, we have expanded the Sunfrog Pixel so users of all levels can benefit. The new Sunfrog Pixel Manager gives you the power and flexibility to leverage multiple pixels so you can scale your Facebook advertisements. Now, a few things about the Sunfrog Pixel. We have what is called Sunfrog Pixel Levels. Now, the Global Pixel is the best option for new users who are only looking to attach one single ad account to Sunfrog. Now, a lot of users are just going to use the Global Pixel. Now, we also have the Collection Pixel. Now, the Collection Pixel allows marketers to attach niche specific pixels to an entire collection. So whenever you create a collection, you can actually attach a certain niche specific pixel to that collection. So if you launch a dog collection and you have a dog ad account or a dog pixel, then you can attach that dog pixel to that dog collection to keep your data clean. We also have a product pixel. So this lets sellers who design their own art insert a pixel on the product level so that they can assign specific ad accounts to certain designs. And let's say that you create cat shirts and you want to attach a cat pixel to your cat design that way you're only retargeting your cat buyers and cat clickers then you're able to do that now so just to recap we have three levels the global pixel the collection pixel and the product pixel now once you set up your pixel you'll be able to track events like view content add to cart purchase you'll be able to track your stats like how many times an event happened so how many view contents or add to carts or purchases that you got and you'll also be able to track cost so cost per click and cost per these events you'll be able to retarget upsell cross sell and more on a global or collection or product level. So now let's hop over the shoulder so I can show you just how easy it is to leverage this new Sunfrog Pixel. So here we're in the business manager at business.facebook.com and when you click on the menu tab up here and go to all tools, you just click pixels and you're able to grab your pixel ID. Now if you haven't set up your pixel yet, I encourage you to watch the Facebook pixel training video at the Academy and we show you how to set up your pixel. However, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to install the Pixel in the new Sunfrog Pixel Manager. So you come over here to Pixel ID and you copy your Pixel ID. Then you log into your Sunfrog dashboard and first let's set up the Global Pixel. So we can come here to Traffic and we click on Conversion Tracking. And once we open up the Conversion Tracking Pixel Manager, right here where it says Facebook Default Pixel ID, we just paste that right in there and click Save. And you can see that I added my seller ID at the end of the URL. And now we're going to come up here to the Facebook Pixel Helper. And you can see there were two pixels that were fired off here. And this is the Sunfrog Pixel. And right here is our pixel. So you can see 9602. And you can see 9602. So my pixel was indeed fired. And if I go to view content, you can see that it was fired. And the yellow just means it's not paired with any product catalog. And that's okay. So it's still fired off. And add to cart did not fire because we have not added to cart yet. And of course, when I do add to cart, add to cart will fire off too. So if we come back up here to the Pixel Helper Manager, you can now see that add to cart has been fired. And like I said, it's okay if it's yellow. That's just because we haven't paired it with a product catalog. However, it is firing like it's supposed to. So just to recap, what we set up here under Traffic and Conversion Pixel Manager is the global pixel so that's going to attract all your events and traffic across all your promotions that's on a global level okay so moving on let's go to the collection pixel so we can go to share and we can come here to collection and inside collection I've already set up the test test collection however if you were setting up a new one you would just click new collection and add whichever t-shirts you want to add to your collection but now you'll see custom campaign tracking on the collection level and you can just pop in your Facebook ID here. Now this could be a different ID. If you had a different Facebook ads account or a different pixel, this could be a different ID that goes here. And then you click save changes. And now when I go to my collection link, three pixels were fired. And this shows red because this is invalid, but I'm just showing you here as an example that now you can see our global pixel fired and also our specific 
niche pixel fire. Now, if this was an active pixel, it would show green view content. So now you see the global and you also see the collection level pixel. So now let's move on to the third pixel level, which is the product level. Okay, so once you upload a product to Sunfrog, you can come down here to the bottom and you're going to see campaign tracking. And this is where we enter our Facebook pixel on a product level. And if we were to enter a pixel here and then go to the front end and test it, you would see that the pixel will fire on the product level as well. Okay, so now you're ready to promote. So you can create your pixel on Facebook. And like I said, if you've never created your pixel, watch the Facebook pixel training video at the Academy and we show you step by step how to create your pixel. Then you're ready to create your audience. So once your pixel is active on Sunfrog, you can start building an audience based on all those website clickers and people that add to cart and people that purchase. And then third, you can run your ads to those people that clicked your ads, viewed the product, added to cart and purchase. Okay, so that wraps up the new Sunfrog Pixel Manager training, and you've learned about the global pixel, the collection pixel, and the product pixel.